agricultural irrigation, carefully planned, extensively monitored, and very efficient. Water is one of the most expensive inputs on a farm. It is often 40 to 60 percent of the cost of growing a crop, so its use is carefully monitored. When deciding what crop to plant and determining which irrigation system to build, farmers and crop scientists examine soil type, infiltration rate, water holding capacity, and distribution uniformity. Various types of irrigation systems are used, dependent upon the soils and the crops being grown. Drip, subsurface drip, micro sprinklers, linear move, center pivot, sprinklers, furrow, flood, are all alternatives. Irrigation systems may also be designed for application of fertilizer. Fertigation minimizes volatilization of greenhouse gases and improves efficiency. Drip, fan jet, and micro sprinkler irrigation systems can cost up to $2,000 per acre, so installing the most appropriate system is important. Farmers extensively monitor trees, vines, or plants, and soil moisture in order to make the smartest irrigation decisions. How do farmers know a crop needs water? Several researched and technically sound methods can be used. Tensiometers, neutron probes, pulling soil samples to check moisture, pressure bombs, all provide data on soil moisture and plant stress. Water balance monitoring gives readings on how much water is applied versus the evapotranspiration rate of the tree, vine, or plant. Some farms use deficit irrigation. Research shows that there are certain times of the year when a plant can be shorted water, which may affect plant growth but not crop yield. Extensive monitoring gives farmers data on how and when a crop can be shorted water before there is yield loss. These moisture monitoring methods are used frequently, weekly, daily, even hourly. Some farmers take soil samples every week in 20 or more locations in a field. Some farms have soil moisture monitoring equipment that provides real-time data on soil conditions. Pressure bomb readings might be taken once a week in many different locations in a field. An example, almond trees have a four foot deep root zone. Data shows that filling a four foot root zone with water around a tree during the early season creates a soil reservoir, providing water for the tree during the hot summer months. During the season, the tree draws down the reservoir as irrigation cannot provide all the water that the tree needs for the summer. Irrigation decisions are also often dependent upon water availability. Water shortages, drought, environmental regulations, lack of canals or other facilities to move water around all factor into irrigation decisions. A reliable water supply enables farmers to more efficiently irrigate. Farms employ agricultural engineers, crop consultants, irrigation technicians, soil scientists, biologists, and plant breeders to help them find the most efficient ways to irrigate. Extensive university and private research is conducted each year on virtually every crop in order to improve irrigation efficiency. Based on monitoring, scientific data, and constant attention to what is happening in the field, farmers make a highly informed decision to irrigate. Under-irrigating a crop means yields will be down and often the quality of the crop suffers. Over-irrigating a crop makes no sense. It's a waste of a valuable resource and money.